eigenvalue feature number two, sums of rows. If each row of a matrix adds up to the same number, then that number is an eigenvalue, and the vector of all ones is the corresponding eigenvector. For example, in this matrix, each row adds up to 10. Therefore, 10 is an eigenvalue, and 1, 1, 1, 1 is the corresponding eigenvector. Let's see why that is. If you multiply this matrix by the vector 1, 1, 1, 1, then the result will consist of the sums of each of the rows. Therefore, the result will be 10, 10, 10, 10. And is the result a multiple of the original vector? The answer is yes, and that multiple is 10. Therefore, 10 is an eigenvalue, and 1, 1, 1, 1 is the corresponding eigenvector. Let's take a look at a few examples. In the first matrix, the one with constant diagonals, each row adds up to 10. Therefore, 10 is once again an eigenvalue, and 1, 1, 1, 1 is the corresponding eigenvector. In the second matrix, each row adds up to 12. Therefore, 12 is an eigenvalue, and 1, 1, 1, 1 is the corresponding eigenvector. What's interesting about this matrix is that we already know two additional eigenvalues. We recognize 8 as being the only non-zero entry in the first column. And since it's on the diagonal, it's an eigenvalue, and 1, 0, 0, 0 is the corresponding eigenvector. We also recognize that 1 is the only non-zero entry in the fourth column, and since it's in the diagonal position, 1 is an eigenvalue, and 0, 0, 0, 1 is the corresponding eigenvector. Let's move on to the third matrix. Now this matrix is interesting because the first row adds up to 8, but the other three each add up to 6. Nevertheless, you can still take advantage of this feature by multiplying this matrix by the vector 0, 1, 1, 1. The result will be 0, 6, 6, 6. And thus the result is once again a multiple of the original vector, and that multiple is 6. Therefore, 6 is an eigenvalue, and 0, 1, 1, 1 is the corresponding eigenvector. So even though this case wasn't as simple as the ones before it, we can still take advantage of the sums of rows principle. Moving on to the last matrix, it's even messier than the one before, because the first three rows all add up to different numbers. We can nevertheless pay attention to just this 3 by 3 matrix and multiply the overall matrix by 0, 1, 1, 1, the result being 0, 6, 6, 6. So even though in this matrix rows don't add up to the same number, we can nevertheless take advantage of this feature and determine the eigenvalue of 6 and the corresponding eigenvector of 0, 1, 1, 1. This, this concludes our discussion of the sums of rows feature that also gives away an eigenvalue and a corresponding eigenvector of a matrix.